Hello and welcome to this episode of Luminar News. My name is Jacob Bors and I'm here to bring you up to speed with the latest Luminar updates. Just before we're going to start, I want to remind you to subscribe to our channel to make sure that you don't miss one of our future episodes or updates. Skylum just released a new update for Luminar Neo with the number 1.8.0. This massive update brings many highly anticipated features and it's a welcome news before the start of the Easter weekend. In this video, we're gonna go through the list of all the updates and features. Then I'm gonna show you how to make sure that you're running the latest version of Luminar Neo and if you're not, how to update it. And finally, after that, we will jump into the application and I will show you how to use all the new updates and features. With Luminar Neo 1.8.0, the histogram is now available in the Edits tab and you can sort photos using the raw filters in the catalog. Additionally, Preview on Hover is now available for LUTs in the Mood tool, the Blend mode in the Layers, and a camera profile in the Develop Raw tool. You can also regulate the intensity of the presets adjustments with a slider, and you can use another slider to view your photos before and after states. On top of that, you will find performance improvements and support for new cameras. If you want to see a full list of all the updates, make sure that you head to the website of Skylum skylum.com slash what's new slash luminar neo. Now, before we going to continue, I want to quickly mention that this update video is powered by our luminar neo spring bundle. This new bundle offers over 910 elements to power up your luminar neo tools. If you get it, you can get extra high definition skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, frames, LUTs and presets, all designed specifically for Luminar Neo with a beautiful spring theme. Now to celebrate this big update and also the upcoming Easter weekend, we are now offering this bundle for just $39 and if you want to get this special price, follow the link in the description of this video or simply visit our website cleverphotographer.com. And now it's time to make sure that you have the latest version of Luminar Neo installed on your computer. To find out what version you're running right now, navigate to the top left corner of your screen and click on Luminar Neo logo. Here you should see about Luminar Neo. Click on that and that will open a new window where you can see that currently I'm running the version 1.7.1 and I need to update it. So if it's the same for you, all we need to do now is to close this window and start with the update. To do that, we're gonna go back to the top left corner and again click on Luminar Neo. For the Windows users, what you wanna do, you wanna click on the logo, then go into the help and click on check for updates. For the Mac users here, just click on check for updates right here. After that, new window will open and here, as you can see, you will be prompted with a message saying that there is a new version available and all we need to do is to click on install update. The application will now download the update and it will prepare it for the installation. Depending on your internet speed, this may take few seconds or few minutes. Once the update is downloaded and extracted, you will be able to click on install and relaunch. So just do that and again, wait for the application to do what it needs to do. Once the installation is over, you will be returned back to the application where you just want to make sure that the update went right. For this, again, back to the Luminar Neo logo and click again on about Luminar Neo. You can see that now I'm running the version 1.8.0 and if you see the same, you are now ready to continue with the tutorial where I'm going to show you all the updates in the application. So starting with the first update, focusing on histogram. With this update, you can now see the histogram in the Edits tab. First come first, we are in the Edit module. Now you need to right-click anywhere on the image and select Show Histogram. 
the histogram will now appear just like usual on the top of your main toolbar. You can click on it to change and see the different modes. And you can, as always, click on the little dots to see the clipping mask on your image. Previously, you were only able to see it here. However, with this new update, you can now click on edits and the histogram will remain on the top of your main toolbar. So now when you go back into the tools you already use and make further adjustments, you are able to see what you're doing live on the histogram here. Just like in a tools view, you can again switch on and off the clipping and you can change the modes. To move to the update number two, we need to go to the catalog module. Here you are now able to filter your images in the library view between raw files and all the rest. To do that, we need to click on the showing on the top of the list and select raw. The result will now filter the images and all you're gonna see are your raw files. To undo that, again, click on the same command and select all photos. Then we can scroll through and we once again see all the images. It's important to mention that the raw filter is available in all photos and all the rest of the folders here in the catalog module. Here at Clever Photographer, we are one of the biggest designers of LUTs for Luminar Neo. This is why the next update is so exciting for us as it allows you to preview the effect of the LUT on your image without the need of clicking on every single one of them. Let me show you how it works. We need to go into our main toolbar and then into the creative section. In the creative section, we need to open the mood tool and click on a gray dropdown box with the choose LUT. Here, I can now go into the custom LUTs where you can see our new Sherry Blossom LUTs. I can now hover over the LUTs and see the effect applied to the image. Once I'm happy, I can just click on it and it will be applied. But that's not all. I can choose to increase the amount and go back into the list again. And now when I hover over the LUTs, the previews takes the amount into consideration and show me exactly how it's going to look. Once I select it, I can always again go back and adjust the amount based on what I prefer. Moving on with the preview updates, you are now able to see the preview of the camera profile you choose for your image. To see this, we're gonna go into the develop tool here and we're gonna stop at the camera profile on the top. Here, when you click on the gray dropdown box, you can choose the different camera profiles based on the camera you're using. For me, I hover over and you will be able to see the difference on the image immediately. Depending on what you prefer, you can now choose one, apply it to the image and continue with your edit. To finish the list of the preview updates, you are now able to see the preview of the blend mode on the specific layer that you choose to. Let me show you how it works. We have this image here and we're gonna add layer to it. So let's select the plus sign and we're gonna select one of the sunbeam overlays here. Once it gets applied, we can move our attention to the main toolbar. Here we can increase the opacity and then as always, click on a gray dropdown box to see the different blend modes. In the past, you would have to click on them to see what it does to the image. However, now you can just hover over them and see the effect. Now let's say that we're gonna choose the screen. We can now adjust the opacity or even better, we can move it around the image just to the position we like. Once we finish, as always, we just hit enter and continue. And finishing the list of the updates on the high, the presets module got once again even more powerful. Few updates back, we got the opportunity to preview the effect of the preset on the image. And to top it off, you are now able to adjust the intensity of the preset on the image. Let me show you once again how it works. Let's go into the purchase where we can select one of our new spring presets. So let's go for the Sakura and wait a moment until it loads all the previews. You can now hover over the presets and see what you like. For example, I like the toffee red. Click on it 
And now you are able to use the slider here to adjust the amount of the preset you want to apply to the image. So let's say that we want to go somewhere around 65. And once we happy with it, we can just continue. For this, we can go into the edit module. And if we want, we can go into the edits and continue with adjustments here. To finish off this presentation, don't forget that you are also now able to see the before and after with the slider. To see this, go to the bottom of your screen and next to the old preview eye icon, you have this little slider here. Click on it and when you do that, you can now slide it around the image to see the before and after divided with the slider. And that's all the news for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future news or updates. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name was Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.